Hi ladies, it is Sade Champagne here. This is a surprise live. I know I didn't give you a heads up, but it's been on my heart today. And so I thought I just wanted to post this video here for our Abundant Joy women's group. And of course, you can come back and watch it later because I have a feeling many people may not be able to check it out right now, and that's okay. But guess what? The video will always be up in this group for you to check out. So let me make sure I have my notes here. It's not We're not gonna be on too long today. I just wanted to share in my heart some things that I've been feeling. We wanna talk about when you feel triggered, when you feel triggered. And so I know with so many things happening right now, it's easy for us to feel triggered and to feel like, does anyone understand me? I'm going through so much right now. How do I process through all of this? And so we wanna talk about this for a few minutes today. When you feel triggered. One of our scripture references that we're going to be using is Hebrews 4.15, Hebrews 4.15, and I have all the notes that we'll be talking about in the description of this video, where it says, for we do not have a God who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who was tempted in every way that we are. For we do not have a God who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who is tempted in every way that we are. What does that mean? That means that God understands you. God understands every single thing that you feel. God understands everything you're going through, everything you're processing through. You are not alone in this life. You are not just walking around aimlessly with no one who fills your heart, with no one who hears you and sees you. This is what's so powerful and one of the most powerful and amazing things about our God is that God understands us. God is in this with us. Every single emotion that you felt, every single thing that you've gone through in your life, every single pain that you've experienced, God has experienced it with you and God has felt it too. And so you are not alone in your pain and God understands you. So first off, when you feel triggered, be honest with your feelings and honor your emotions. Be honest with your feelings and honor your emotions. I know especially as women and girls, it can be easy for us. We start just like shutting down. We don't want to be always open and honest about how we feel. We try to put on a brave mask. I'm doing great, I feel great, nothing bothers me. But we know deep down that it hurts and that we're suffering. And I wanna encourage you ladies to be honest with your feelings and honor your emotions. When you are not honest with your feelings, when you don't honor your emotions, you are teaching yourself that your feelings don't matter, that you don't value yourself and you don't honor yourself. And you're also teaching yourself how to be fake and how to wear a mask and how to live your life in the shadows and God never created us to live that way. God wants you to be authentic. God wants you to embrace transparency and vulnerability. And it's so powerful just for you, just for your self care, for your mental, emotional, spiritual, physical well being. When we stuff those emotions down, our feelings down, and we don't honor them and actually try to process through them, it makes it hard for us mentally, emotionally. We can find ourselves suffering within because it, those feelings and emotions have to go somewhere. And if we are not process through process processing through them and honoring them we can find ourselves shutting down and it begins to affect our physical mental emotional and spiritual health and our relationships too next open up to God open up to God you can trust God God is for you and God is with you God is not judging you God is not looking down on you saying Sade, you should have gotten it together by now. Why are you still struggling in this way? I've already helped you this many times. You should have this down packed. No, God is with you. When you cry, God cries. When you hurt, God hurts. Whatever you're feeling today, whatever you're going through, whatever is triggering, triggering you, God feels that too. And God is on your side and on your team. God wants to comfort you and be there for you in every way possible. So it's important that you open up to God so God can help you and support you and see that God is your best friend. God is, is the one you can trust and lean on. Third, 
Reach out to trusted loved ones and your mentors. Reach out to trusted loved ones and your mentors. Not only do we not oftentimes not honor our feelings and emotions, and do we also not open up to God, but we don't open up to our loved ones. We isolate ourselves and go into a corner and we just suffer in silence. But guess what? You have so many people who love you and who believe in you and who support you. Even if you feel like you're struggling in your personal relationships today, look at this amazing group that we have here of women who are all with you and for you. We support each other. So reach out to your loved ones, your trusted loved ones and mentors, and let them know how you've been feeling triggered, what has happened to you, you, what, what was brought up, how you're feeling, and they can be able to help remind you of the truth and support you and comfort you as well. Friendships and loved ones, mentors, they're some of the greatest gifts that God has given us. Next, fill your heart, your mind, your ears, and your eyes with the truth. Fill your heart, your mind, your eyes, and your ears with the truth. It's at this time precisely when you feel triggered that you need to pull up, like this page, is this group that we have is powerful. You pull up and you start reading the truth. You listen to the messages, you watch the videos, you remember the, that God's promises and what God has spoken over your life. You remember how far you have come. You have to fill yourself with the truth. And this is what's so great. As you are watching, reading, receiving the truth, the Holy Spirit, the presence of God, the life of God within you is energizing you. It is healing you. It is making you stronger and more powerful. And it is rebuilding your mind and your heart, your soul, your emotions, every part of your being. We have to allow ourselves to be filled with the truth. What are we meditating on? What are we affirming? What are we allowing ourselves? The, what messages are we allowing ourselves to listen to? A lot of times we are eating up lies. Yum, 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 chop, 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 chop. Eat the lies, eat the lies, eat the lies. And then when it comes to the truth, we barely take just a little bit, but we have to consume the truth, life, love, grace, hope, joy, things that are good, that are positive, that speak of God's character and God's love for us. Think about how far God has brought us and it makes a huge impact and you'll start seeing like, oh, if God brought me through all of this, surely he will help me in this time as well. I don't understand everything. This is not all the way I, how I saw things going, but God is faithful to me. God has promised me and I know I've seen it in my own life and so God will help me through this too. And we learned, this is a bonus, I'm gonna put this in the notes after. Don't judge yourself. Don't be harsh on yourself just because you feel triggered and say, oh, Shade, I should be over this by now. I, I've spent so many years, I should be over it, I should feel better. That doesn't work like that all the time. Just because you're feeling triggered by something doesn't mean you're, you're moving backwards. It doesn't mean that you're not successful, that you're not healing. We sometimes just experience pain in this world and we can feel weak at times, but guess what? God will be your strength. God will lift you up. And this goes into my last note. Rest, but don't quit. I actually encourage you to live in rest. It is one of the most powerful gifts that God has given us, to live in rest, to live in a state and a consciousness and an awareness of how loved we are by God, that how cared for we are, and to trust and know, and we see it in our everyday lives, how much God looks out for us and, and the promises that God has given us in Jesus and in his Holy Spirit. And so rest, but don't quit. God will sustain you and lift you up. Rest, but don't quit. God will sustain you and lift you up. One of my favorite quotes talks about how I threw the towel at God, like when you're trying to throw in the towel and God threw it back to me and he said, we're not, we're not finished yet. It's not over. <laughs> and so God will lift me up and God will carry us. And, and I want to encourage you in that today. First Corinthians 1.18 says, God will keep me strong and sustain me to the end. God will keep me strong and sustain me to the end. Even I'm speaking that over my heart today. I'm meditating on that. God will keep me strong and sustain me to the end. God will lift you up. God will empower you. God will strengthen you. God will heal you. So we're gonna do a quick review. We talked about when you feel triggered. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we do not have a God who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who was tempted in every way that we are. Hebrews 4.15. And our notes were, Be honest with your feelings and honor your emotions. Open up to God. Reach out to trusted loved ones and mentors. Fill your heart, 
your mind, your ears, and your eyes with the truth. What are you meditating on? What are you thinking about? What are you digesting? Make sure it's the truth and it's full of life. Excuse me. Next, we said, don't judge yourself. Don't be hard on yourself and criticize yourself just because you're hurting and you're in pain. It doesn't mean that something's the matter with you. Sometimes life is just hard. Sometimes we just feel weak. But God will keep us strong and sustain us to the end, which is 1 Corinthians 1.8. 1 Corinthians 1.8. God will keep us strong and sustain us to the end. And that goes into our last note. Rest, but don't quit. God will will sustain us and lift us up. Rest, but don't quit. God will sustain us and lift us up. Thank you ladies so much for joining me today. If you missed it, it's okay. It was literally an impromptu live that was on my heart and that God encouraged me. And Jennifer, thank you so much for tuning in and I see your comment, amen, amen. And so you can just come back later and watch this video. If there's any women you want to bring into the group, go ahead and add them into the group. I'd love for them to join us. And if you have any comments, post them in the video below. If you have any prayer requests, you have any questions, post them in the video below because I will be chatting with you ladies. So have a wonderful rest of the day and thank you so much for joining me. Next time I'll give you more of a heads up when we have a live and for our next Bible studies and what we're working on. But this was literally just on my heart today and it's just a part of what God is healing me in and so I wanted to share it with you. So thank you so much ladies and I'll chat with you soon. Bye!